there with bags because I want to show you how to collect a sample for hair key test, our test for mineral levels and toxins. And I do that usually once every six months for Pax and also myself. The hair analysis is much easier on Pax because he's got a lot of hair. I have to collect for a few days. <laughs> but other than that, what I want to do here is to show you how easy it is. And especially if you have good treats and convince your dog that uh, it's really easy. <laughs> he thinks that the more he gives me a high five, the more treats will come. Anyway, um, what I usually use just simple tools, uh, stainless scissors. I have these really nice scissors that are small and they have uh, blunted points, so they're really cool. The other scissors that you can use is just regular scissors, either from your kitchen or from stationary scissors. Um, the only thing that I wanted to say is that uh, you have to be very careful when you're using pointy scissors because you don't want to make your dog. The most important part is to make sure that you collect the piece of hair that is closest to the skin to make sure that you get the most current information from the hair analysis about minerals and toxins. So, what are you doing? What are you doing? What I usually recommend is to collect the sample that is from the back of your dog because it doesn't get in touch with the ground. Even though the hair samples are washed and uh, cleaned before the analysis. We don't need to worry that any soil or any shampoos would actually affect the results. Now, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, someone goes, uh, you can see that he's going down. Come on, Bugsy, come on, come on. I'm not gonna collect blood samples or do anything, come. He's acting like this is a surgery. Okay, okay, you know what? We have to collect the sample. Oh. He's a little baby, are oh, you a little baby? So I have an envelope, a little tiny envelope that I put the hair sample in. And uh, just going to get a little closer to the skin and uh, I cut the sample and you can see that I have a nice color. then I oh <laughs> he's gone <laughs> then I cut the half an inch and then I'm going to do it uh, one more time. So this is uh, this is the first sample. I'm going to put it uh, in the envelope here, and we'll do one more bit of that. Are you worried? Are you big? So anyway, I'll, I'll show you one more time and just really make sure that you make the scissors parallel to your dog's skin and as close to us to the skin, but be very careful that you don't cut your dog. I'm just going to take another sample and see it's beautiful. I'm going to, do you want to check it out? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that uh, we cut off just uh, half an inch or so of the hair, which represents about the last four months of mineral and toxin content in your dog's body. And um, I'm going to put it in our envelope here. Oops. And the analysis is done by induction plasma method. So the hair is going to be washed, then dissolved under high, very high temperature into plasma and then the computer counter is going to count the atoms of each element or toxin. So it's really highly accurate and quantitative as well. Um, all you need to do is to seal the envelope, um, send it to the address that we have on the website, and uh, you will get the results in about four to six weeks. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always email us through the website, and otherwise give your dog a hug for me. Take care, bye-bye.